Hello, this is Dr. Gary from First Like MRI. And this is a 53-year-old male with complaints of shoulder pain, difficulty sleeping. It's hard to move in certain positions. And it, clinically, it sounds like a rotator cuff tear. And as we look in this, we see that the patient does have two findings. Number one, a rotator cuff tear. This is the supraspinatus muscle, part of the rotator cuff. The tendon is here, which is really thin. And the rotator cuff has to go underneath this a chromium process and above the humeral head and as it goes through here the space is very narrow and it's getting pinched in between here we call it impingement which is really more of a clinical diagnosis but it, that means that the um, rotator cuff is getting um, has mass effect on it by the chromium process or sometimes the AC joint more often the AC joint will be enlarged and the AC joint spur will push down and dig into the muscle or tendon here pinch this rotator cuff as it tries to go through this space and we call that impingement and that can lead to tendinopathy, tearing, and this patient does have what we call tendinopathy of the rotator cuff here. It's kind of foggy. This should be a really jet black tendon insertion. This is the muscle. This is the tendon which is way too thin and here it's too thick and foggy so we have tendinopathy. And as we move forward in the rotator cuff in the anterior aspect of what we call the supraspinatus, it should be really jet black here. It's a little bit foggy and on this view you see white, that's fluid. So this is a tear of the rotator cuff insertion, the far anterior insertion. It's not a full thickness tear, the full thickness is here. So it's a partial thickness tear along the top, the bursal surface, and they have tendinopathy. So this patient has chronic impingement clinically and the findings do go along with that. So when it, the rotator cuff is getting pinched, you wonder, well, why is it getting pinched? Is there abnormal morphology of the AC joint or the acromion process that are causing it to be pinched? So we look at the AC joint and say, hey, this looks very good. The clavicle, acromion, AC joint is small. There's no big spur. Often we see a big hypertrophic AC joint and it'll push down and dig into the um, rotator cuff here. But here we have a nice fatty collection, subacromial fat here, and a big cushion. So this is not the typical impingement from AC arthropathy, but the distal acromion process. It looks like a telephone receiver. They call this a telephone receiver type configuration where the acromion, instead of being nice and smooth and coming horizontally, it goes downwards. We call it inferior lateral acromion tilt or lateral down sloping. So the acromion process, rather than going horizontally, goes downwards. And sometimes it'll have this broad, looks like an articular surface along the bottom. Some people call it an acromion undersurface excrescence or broadening or spurring from the acromion undersurface. But this big, broad area is abnormal, and it may be related to chronic pressure by this rotator cuff. But this morphology, where it looks like a telephone receiver, lateral downsloping or infralateral acromion tilt, this broad, flat acromion undersurface can lead to pinching of that rotator cuff as it tries to go through this narrowed space. It digs into it and will lead to this tear. Now the patient has one other thing here. This is the acromion process. Normally the acromion process will parallel the round humeral head. This is what we call sagittal view. Here's a top, back, front. And typically the acromion process will parallel the humeral head. As we go this direction, we call it a positive acromion slope as it slopes towards the humeral head and it can pinch this rotator cuff which is wrapped around and this is a neutral slope where it roughly parallels and then there's a negative slope but this patient has more of a positive acromion slope and that can lead to impingement or pinching and they also have again this telephone receiver type configuration broadening spurring narrowing between the humeral head and acromion all these things are leading to this tendinopathy and partial thickness tearing of the rotator cuff. So they can go in here now that they see this is so bad, take away the distal clavicle, call it a chromioplasty. They do not need to resect the uh, AC joint here. They give room for this to breathe, and then this patient, they can fix this, and they hopefully will be in good shape going forward. So we caught it early enough. And that's it. Thank you so much.